There are between 20 and 36 million slaves in the world today. Human trafficking is believed to be the third largest criminal enterprise on earth. Human trafficking. Human trafficking. Human trafficking. Sex trafficking. Sex trafficking. Sex trafficking. Every one of these kids has had their voice taken away from them. Every one of these kids has come from some sort of history of trauma or abuse, and nobody's stood up for them. And nobody has, um, nobody has thought that they were worth it. The magnitude of the problem in the state of Texas is a little tricky to describe. Um, human trafficking, specifically child sex trafficking, is the number one most unreported crime in the United States. Survivors or victims don't identify as victims, um, and so it's very often it's very difficult to determine the actual numbers. But in 2016, the University of Texas was charged with researching the magnitude of the issue for um, for our state, so that our government, our state government, would understand how big the problem is and then where those resources needed to be funneled. In their 2016 report, Trafficking by the Numbers, um, they estimated that approximately 79,000 um, minors and, and children were um, victims of child sex trafficking here in the state of Texas. When we talk about what is human trafficking, there's a lot of myths out there. Some people believe that trafficking still happens in a third world country. Um, some people believe that it happens on, just on the border. Um, some people believe that trafficking requires movement. Um, none of those things are correct. So different elements have taken a place in my story of how I got there. It started when I was in college. I was 18. Um, I did. I get on, got into a relationship and then that's how the element of domestic violence came into play. My first trafficker, he trafficked me for a while, but I got out. And then my second trafficker, who played the knight in shining armor to get me out of the first situation, started becoming domestic violence, and then it ultimately trafficked me. And then from there, it's just like a spiral. I kept running into these traffickers and being trafficked. My fourth trafficker, he was arrested with me, and he is now serving 40 years in prison for trafficking. I was kidnapped, so I met the guy online. We went into the parking lot. He ended up taking me to a hotel where he ended up raping me. And then from there he said, and I, I quote this just to help people understand that this is the mentality of traffickers. He said, you know you're mine now, right? So after he said that, he ended up trafficking me out of a bar for, I was on drugs, so probably I would say two or three weeks. My time frame's a little choppy, but I was drugged and now there were other people with me that were being trafficked as well and you'll see that a lot of times is that the trafficker will have more than one person whether that's at the same location or different locations and so between the two of us we were being trafficked in this bar and it was very interesting because most people know what's going on but they don't know what to do or don't want to say anything or they're the people that are paying to see these victims and, and so they're not, of course, going to say anything at all. The biggest thing, the biggest contribution you can make is spreading the awareness that this is actually happening in our community and then having conversations with your friends to, for them to know what the signs are of an exploiter, what the traps are of a trafficker. Um, knowing when to step in to help and when to talk to a trusted adult so that they can help as well because every single person here, every single person in your school, like we talked about this morning, has a piece to the puzzle. So to summarize what this documentary has been about, this is about trafficking. Sex trafficking is a real problem that does happen in our own country. Nine times out of ten, it looks like boyfriending, which is when you get into a relationship. The relationship starts off really well. He really loves you. He really likes you. He's maybe showering you with gifts. He's being very affectionate and understanding. But then suddenly that turns south, and the, tra the boyfriend will turn into domestic violence and then ultimately into trafficking. So that's kind of what the documentary's been about in terms of 
describing the picture and what to look for. And then I think in terms of what to do about it, this is an issue and it's really important to keep each other safe and to remember that we're all trying to navigate through our lives and there's a lot of people out in this world that are good but then there's also a lot of them that are having evil intentions and so I think making sure we're able to protect ourselves and protecting others and I think remembering to be compassionate and empathetic.